G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Jenny, and this wonderful digger that we're going to talk about in just a second. Um, he's slightly confused, but that's okay. First off, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for all the wonderful support you've had upon the series, including with my small absence due to the workers give me um flu flu, flu mild, which promoted itself to flu severe, then flu deadly. But, you know, it's back to flu mild now. So, as you can tell, I'm still not 100%. But at least we're back up recording. So, thank you guys for all the support you've, you've given to the series, even with my absence. Uh, also, big thank you for liking the videos, sharing the videos, asking me how I'm doing uh, over at Discord or on Twitter. At the same time, I need to give a big shout-out. Big shout-out to those that are going above me on, those that are becoming YouTube members. Because, obviously, with me not having videos for a couple of days, there's no ad revenue. But... With the support of you guys, being the YouTube members, all those supporting across at Patreon, it doesn't affect me nearly as much. So, big th uh, big th thank you and a big shout out. Uh, today, we're going to be welcoming a brand new YouTube member. Uh, it's going to be Urkel, Urkel64, who, um, well, with a name like Urkel, it sort of explains his maneuvering mechanisms, the way he drives around with the scoop right the way out in front. Uh, we're going to ignore any balance issues that he may have, and we're going to thank him for his support of the channel. At the same time, we need to talk about some of the things that have happened and some of the things that are going to be happening today. Today, we're going to be playing with my doc. I'm playing with my doc, I'm playing with all the docs, or I just want to play with my big docs. But it's okay, as long as I play with my docs and I show you guys my docs, it's okay. Because I've been told I'm not allowed to play with my doc privately. Uh, so today, we're going to talk about a couple of things that have happened, a couple of things that are happening. Uh, first off, we have this little crew that we set up last episode. They've done a bit of damage. Um, they're going to continue doing a bit of damage. They've got a little bit left to go, and then we're going to remove them out. At the same time, we can see we have a giant fill area here. This is all being filled in with dirt because our coal mine is gone. Um... It's been filled in entirely. It, we, we just topped it up with dirt. It's perfectly fine. It's been filled in. We need to get this area filled in because I really need to rearrange food and double up food processing and double it out and expand it because, well, if you got chicken feed and you're burning it off, that's, that's a problem. You could be feeding more chickens. On top of that, we've only got 16 months worth of food. I am feeding the people twice the amount of food they want. 50% extra food than what they're meant to be eating. But, you know, I, I like fat people, fat, lazy people that give me extra uni. At the same time, um, we are setting up a brand new dig order out here to, well, clear out some room so I can double up food. Uh, that's actually where Urkel's off to now. Where is he? Oh, he's made it a certain amount of the way. Uh, speaking of uh, diggers, we have this little crew has just finished here. They dug their way towards gold. I didn't actually get much gold. Um, we've just started getting gold to start falling down the mountain, which is all I really needed. In fact, we have saved up a grand total of 320 gold. It's not a lot. Uh, we're going to pull everybody off that team. Everybody. Thank you. And we're going to send them over here to help out Urkel. That's 10 excavators. Uh, let's go with... That's 5. That's 10. And that's 15 trucks. 15 trucks is probably enough to get us started. And of course he gets here and first thing he... Oh, I'm out of fuel. I'm out of fuel. Urkel is the way you were driving, with the digger hanging right out the front. That, that's your whole issue. Okay, uh, we're going to set up Urkel here. He's going to start digging out this area. Hopefully, we can clear this out reasonably quickly. Uh, the other reason we're clearing out new areas is we need more rock. Um, as always, I need more rock. We have finished off most of our docking area. So we have, well, we have a couple of docks. Uh, we have the first dock. Plus the second dock. Uh, the third dock and the fourth dock we'll get to in a minute. Uh, but what I need to do is I need to replace, well, this dock. This dock was bringing in our quartz, which we are obviously no longer bringing in due to the fact of, well, oh, I'm going to delete that part first. Uh, before I can delete this part. Um, this does say shovel ground to recover ocean access. I'm really curious what happens if I click that button now. I've completely blocked it in. But I'm not pressing that now. Maybe you'll find a clip. Uh, somewhere else where I click that button, we find out what it does. Uh, but yes, we're gonna build. We're gonna build two new docks and remove the old one. We're not gonna look at it because if we look at it, uh, all the frames go away. Uh, one thing I do need to do is we do need to go into the marketing, and we need to set up another shippy shippy because we're gonna need more ships. Well, that did put a dent in those, I bet. Yeah, that got rid of a few construction parts. Okay. Um. We need to get another shipyard, because what I want to do is I want to set up two shipyards uh, in this episode, or two new docks. Uh, first one's going to be this one. Uh, we need to set back up 
uh, loose modules. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We need to set up one of these to bring in our quartz again. Um, because quartz has not been running for quite some time because somebody blocked off ship access. Uh, can I get a pipe from there to there? And we're going to be setting uh, can I, uh, mining rig quartz. Uh, paste and get that built. Oh, 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 and there's one other thing I want to do, and that was main shippy. Main shippy, can we load up you with some crew? Of course, out in the world map, out in the world map. Uh, I currently have a combat score of all sorts of random shit in the shipyard. Uh, we have a combat score of 560, which means there's a chance, chance I could beat a bigger ship. We have a rock mine out here. Now, I know it's rock, okay? Like, who would waste diesel and, and manpower and everything importing rock? The answer is I possibly would because I need to landfill in a lot of areas in a hurry. So I want to send out our main ship out here and battle that guy. At the same time, we need to set back up our quartz to start mining again because I've had it paused for a long time because we weren't using it. 12 workers needed. That's a good start. Uh, you know what, if I pause that cargo ship, we should be fine on workers. Excellent. Alright, so first thing I want to do is I want to set up this guy. This guy is going to be importing quartz. And we have 900 on the world map. And I have 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, 1, 1,200. So I need about 1,200 on the map before you will go and head off and pick that up. Uh, one thing I can do in the meantime is we can make sure that we can start actually unloading the ship because like i said i need to set this back up entirely that's wrong uh because the old one was blocked in but now we have room for extra docks i'm super happy uh plug that there that there that there all right i need a storage a box of a sizable size and we're just going to plug you into there and you into there all right our plan is to unload quartz right here, and I need to bring quartz over to, well, where we were processing quartz. Still plan planning on putting quartz in right this spot. I just need to get it here. Um, can I remove that belt and that bridge? And we're in combat. Holy shit. We won! Uh, our ship damage done, 1,300. Enemy damage done, 1,000. Oh, they did a thousand to us. That's that's more than a thousand. We did more than a thousand. This this that's entirely wrong, but that's okay. We won. Uh, we discovered a rock mine. Excellent. Go home. All right. Uh, so first thing I want to do is I want to bring quartz to here. This is the second thing I want to do this episode, and that is I want to set up this ship to start doing a contract. I want to do. Uh, this contract we've been talking about it for a long time uh but now i have the new shipyards in and done i want to start shipping off slag for sour water um that's something i really 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 want to start doing and if we actually look up slag uh the contract is 700 and produced last year we only produced 900 so i'm gonna be probably hard well i'm, I'm gonna fill the contract at least once every 12 months but not super often. So one of the things I want to do is I want to make sure I set up this contract and we can basically start getting rid of our slag that way, get out, get in extra sour water because I did put in extra sour water processing and then be able to convert our, sour, our, excess, our excess sour water or our imported sour water into more ammonia to more fertilizer also means that my big bucket of slag I can finally get rid of. A couple of things I need to do before we sort of get too stuck into that. One is fill in this little bit of area here because that happens to be where the modules go. Uh, two, I uh, know you'll be fine for a minute. Um, two is we are currently using slag to make concrete slabs. Uh, we need to retrofit and remove this process. And what I need to do is I need to remove the limestone. I need to remove the slag and I need to move, remove the rock bucket. Um, because what I want to do is I want to set up rock to basically, well, these three were doing slag and these three were doing rock. The idea of the rock ones is one of them is going to three of them to make sand, to do the sand part of the process. And the other two let me optionally turn on these six to make extra sand. Basically, I want to get rock into, well, these three, so they're no longer going to do slag, slag and also this one to also do sand because... 
total, I need 18 gravel, 6 sand, that's like 24 total materials. Multiply by 4 of them, I need like 100. So what I want to do is I want to make sure you go dump in the sea. That's what we've been doing with this stuff for a while. You, you know how it works. Uh, I also need to have a keep full on you. Um, yeah, what I want to do is I want to get rid of both of these and have somewhere to dump, uh, have... So I want to bring in extra rock to process, well, to, to, to convert sand across. Also, like I said, stop using slag. Uh, import is off. Excellent. We're going to set you up with rock, uh, slag, or gravel. And we just need the buckets to go away. All right. Uh, can I set you in it to a one, actually? That should definitely help things along. All right. Uh, oh, good. You guys are, uh, are all done. Uh, if you're all done, please fill in just that area so it neatens up a little bit. And we're gonna cargo docks. I want a. I want to look at the contract. What is the contract? Let's establish the contract. It is seven hundred for two eighty-eight. So if it's two eighty-eight, that means it is more than one fluid wagon, uh, fluid fluid module. Uh, that would be two, and that means everything else is gonna be loose modules. And then we're gonna assign a contract. It's gonna be seven twelve for two eighty-eight. Which is now 718 for 290. Okay. All right, we, we, we want to do that contract. Uh, and okay, first things first, let's get some diesel across. So we need to run diesel across. I have diesel right here. Uh, now, one thing I do want to do higher high trucks is I want to run diesel across uh, around the map at height number three. Um, we're going to obviously need a certain amount of diesel uh, to do a certain amount of projects all around the map. So I'm pretty much resigned myself to running diesel around at height level three. Now, I am going to have to drop it down at certain places uh, so we can get bridges around and over things. Uh, is that enough? Yeah, that's plenty of flat. Uh, we're going to bring you back up. We'll bring you to here. We'll bring you around here. And take you as far forward as possible. That way I don't block off trucks. Uh, bring you to here. I need to dodge. Yep. I need to dodge your, no, your output, please. Because eventually this will have two extra modules on it. Uh, just, just hang out there. All right. Uh, can I... All right, first things first, I want to copy that little pipe. I'm gonna plug you into you. Uh, yep, and then just give me that whole combination. I'm gonna plug that whole combination right there. That's good, that's done. Uh, we're gonna uni build that and that. Have you gone away and come back? You have, okay. And we're gonna uni build all of that. Yes. Can I get a bridge in whilst we're here? I want those vehicles, a medium ramp there. And you guys are done with your little D. Okay. Can I remove all you guys and buy trucks? Reassign that to there. And we're going to send you guys off to join. Oh my gosh. Um... Uh, you guys also have nowhere to dump. Uh, I'm guessing that means... Uh, yeah, it magically filled in when you started looking at it. Okay, uh, that means that project's done as well. All right, uh, where we're going to be dumping next is going to be this project. Um, I want to get this done to add in more farms. Um, I really, really want to get some more farms up in the next episode or two. Which means, well, I need to have this pier done, and we also need to fill in all this internal area with dirt, eventually. Uh, can I also grab you, and we'll assign you to start working from this end back. And that should give them plenty of areas to dump material. All right, with that done and that done, my docks are done. Uh, you guys are just waiting to find a place to dump? Yep, yeah? okay, cool. All right, so that fixes that problem. Uh, who is still assigned to that box? Uh, you are that box, no? You are that box, no? You are that box, no? Uh, you are not that box. You, you're that box. Okay, edit area there. All right, uh, whilst we wait, 
Uh, let's just set this back up because, you know, no concrete is bad. Uh, can I remove that? And what happens if I put in... Is there an advantage to putting in one more? No. No. Okay. Uh, can I remove you? And then I should be able to get a bucket here, I hope. forward one line yeah there, there you go okay new bucket uh build all that and we're going to assign you to be rock uh with a nice import on you and you should be good to go they should get concrete back up and running uh you are back we're going to unload your crew so i have population available to unpause this ship Okay, all right, so we've got fuel delivered to you, which we want import, export off. So sh trucks don't try and come over here and refuel. We also want import off on both shipyards. And the only thing we need to do is we need to run some belts and some pipes. Okay, so uh, diesel has been run, step number one. Step number two is gonna be sour water and, and, and slag. Uh, sour water, we want to pipe balancer pipe balancer please uh, i want to put a pipe balancer in here because i need to make sure that we process our own sour water first and any excess sour water second uh there yeah that looks like you're like hanging on like a pair of monkey bars uh we're gonna build you you're gonna be a priority yep which is gonna toggle you're now gonna be a priority in which means I've just forced sour water to just pop down here through this balancer, which means this pipe. Uh, I gotta think about my ordering. Um, this pipe that I need to build in just a second is gonna be for sour water. But before I do that, I wanna grab the slag. All right, slag. Uh, we have been saving slag for just a while. Just a little bit of a while. Uh, I need to get slag all the way around to that shipyard. Which we're gonna... Yes. We're gonna run... Uh, see. So not gonna run it to there. Alright, try again. We're gonna run from here to here. To here, please. Then we're going to come up to height number one. Uh, there, there, height two. Okay. Height two to there. Then we're going to come over the top. Mm, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Height th three and over the top. Excellent. Uh down height two we want to squeeze our way over that it seems yep uh and no okay height yep height two and then i want to ride above this pipe the reason i want to ride above this pipe is this goes straight past sour water also goes past our quartz so all three items are right here we just need to get all the belts, well, this belt and the two, well, one belt, actually it's one belt, one pipe. What is it? It's a belt and a pipe and a belt. Yeah, okay. So we want to bring this all the way around. Uh, I guess we're going to do slag first, all the way from start to end. Okay. Uh, so you're going to come to here, to here. Uh, let's take you through... Take you through this tile. Yes. Uh, we can see we've already got a whole bunch of quartz ready to go. Uh, oh. We'll take you... I want, I want to keep this close to the edge. Just in case we decide we want to landfill out a little bit further. Um, I honestly can't see it happening. But you just never know. Uh, we're going to then take you into port number one, into port number two, into port number three, and into port number four. Don't get me wrong, it's a pathetic way, way of balancing uh, all of this. It's going to be horrible, but it'll work. Um, 
basically we're gonna have to wait for the first bucket to fill up then the second bucket then the third bucket and the well, third container fourth container blah 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 um one thing i will do to speed things up is i'm just gonna put a storage container right here and i'm gonna set you for slag uh and we're gonna quick deliver you that way if there's anything that that like like smelting where are we? Smelting, 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 smelting. Anything like this that fills up enough that it needs to actually export, it's going to export and it has to go somewhere. Rather than it being able to go into the sea, it should be able to go into this bucket instead, which should expedite us filling up this ship. Um, okay, so that's step number one done. Step number two is going to be a pipe uh, to there and a pipe to there. And then let's remove you and go underneath the diesel pipe uh yep we'll go all the way around the coast because we can sort of feel bad that that belt doesn't wrap along please stop it a wrap wrap around the coast now but it is what it is uh no i don't want to run i want to go to here yes because here we need to duck under the bridge Yep, uh, back up to height two. Sure. Yeah, because it's still going to get quartz through this mess. Uh, no, not there. There, please. And then over to here. And then over to here. And then I want to run the quartz through that one. So we're going to go down to height number one and under there which means you should be able to duck straight back over yeah it's almost like a straight line and this is gonna be our sour water so sour water needs to come and jump in there i'd call it perfect but i think it's far from it um it works yeah it does work anything but elegant uh Okay, first off, can we get that part of the pipe built? Uh, no, because there's now a belt point. I can't duck. Please don't. Height one, straight through. No. All right, well, it is what it is. Uh, that'll do us. Uh, that'll get us uh, our sour water plugged in. Uh, that just leaves our quartz. Quartz is going to need a lovely quartz belt. Which means we can finally turn quartz back on because it's been turned off because it sort of got starved after being blocking the dock entirely. Uh, which means we should be able to bring this around to here and around to... Nope. Nope, it's not, that's not what we wanted. We want to go from here to here. Nope. And yep, it'll pause the belt being built, which is awesome. Uh, there. Oh, it's pulls the other half of the belt as well. Because it splits the belt in two. Yeah, please don't pause the belt. Uh, trucks is extremely busy. That sort of means it's a good thing as far as I'm concerned. Because hopefully that means that they are filling in the ground very quickly. Uh, under. E under to there. And then we should be able to come up to height two up to height three and then run in a nice straight line right the way along and okay so there's a small jut out at the end uh to plug into that it's not bad it's not perfect it's not bad all right with that belt i have that belt uh both built and that bridge built so i can choose to fill in well, this little corner and i think i can fill out another couple of tiles i don't know why i need a couple of extra tiles but you know never hurts uh oh and you guys uh we should be able to get this ship loaded up reasonably quickly that's my hope at least um you are preferencing the second third and the last one and the first one has nothing in it because no trucks have brought anything across but hope for built uh hopefully 
this has some it, it has some slag on it yeah it's gonna take a minute or two to get there all right uh whilst we wait where are trucks up to so trucks are hopefully yeah they're, they're, they're doing a little bit of digging just a tiny bit of digging um okay extremely busy why are we extremely busy um actually i've got five idle trucks why do i have five idle trucks go away try again i, I now have six idle trucks okay are all you guys swinging no i just saw one not swinging okay all right so that tells me straight away i probably need another five there it also tells me if i have idle little trucks we need to assign five here uh and i need to check we have vehicle parts three i do cool i'll have five more big dump trucks actually i'll have four that'll take us up to an even 50 and that of course brings me four because i don't need five anymore i just need four uh four little victims to come park over here uh no idea where the other two are you you're literally going the wrong direction oh you got coal okay that seems reasonable uh there is that one and then if i click that see he's got a little thingy above his head it means he's easy to find uh he's gonna drop off his coal and then we get to click the red button that means he gets to go to a special place and gets replaced with a slightly larger truck which is what it's all about uh cool and goodbye all right so that should fix that problem uh holy crap that is full uh yeah we definitely need more trucks being doing the dumping thing uh hopefully it means they're making some progress they've done half the area's worth already okay and this side's done like two tiles well that is the primary side uh all right in the meantime quartz is definitely being unloaded uh we probably should turn that back on yes i haven't got here yet uh unpause cool unpause that quartz is halfway along the belt i know you guys process 24 a piece so that's a total of 48 uh quartz mine is running at 48 so it is running at one for one all right and our uranium is upgraded a long time ago uh it's not quite full uh it has a thousand and they're ready to go uh, it is running, where are we? Uranium is running at level two. So it's ready to do the next, well, it's ready to build the next reactor, basically. Um, we also have a full box of uranium rods and hopefully not a full box. Probably should turn that on. Yeah, one tenth, 11% full. Awesome, excellent, great, awesome. Uh, in the meantime, you guys are back up and running. Ooh, I think safe. Uh, yeah, you guys are on the gravel recipe. You guys will do either or. You're always set up to do either or. So you guys are happy. Uh, and... I don't need to upgrade that because we're going to be processing as fast as it arrives. As for this... Actually, where's the ship up to? Oh, so everybody's full except the first one. Uh, can I please toggle direction uh, toggle direction so the cool thing about these little buckets is you can actually bring things out uh, of the these um, these modules they're both input and output um, they're, 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 they're doors they're access points whatever you want to call them um so that should fill that one up reasonably quickly especially now the main slag belt's got here uh because it's down got here let's toggle you toggle you toggle you and toggle you to go back in I want you in you in i have no idea you're still full uh, i don't know which direction you're going in or out that's out I want you to go in. Okay, all right. So that's that running. That's that running. Uh, you should be going other way. Okay, perfect. Uh, you should be full any second, and then the ship should go away. It, it unfortunately takes a three month turnaround for the ship to go away and come back. I will be actually having a in the not too distant future. We'll be doing a whole standalone video on cargo ships and imports and exports and all that sort of stuff. And 
minimum distance between shipyards and 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 turnaround times and all that sort of fun stuff uh that'll be happening not, not too distant future but yes you're gonna be three months to disappear and come back with my lovely sour water which we're gonna turn into a whole bunch of ammonia um high supply of compost which i know about it means this guy needs to be turned back on and now we're down to 33 workers which means i need to find another lot of housing and turn that on and realize that we're down to just one free housing left uh guys oh that's not even wide enough uh okay uh we need to fill in uh actually what, what parts do i need to fill in i need that plus i need the decoration so can we just do that and the decoration which is like just that area hopefully hopefully we can produce trash fast enough i i want to produce trash faster than we produce housing because that's the plan that way we can build all the housing on trash um all right so yeah they're gonna take three months to do a turnaround uh holy crap why do you keep saying you have nowhere to dump Okay, I was really hoping that with two tiles wide, it would be enough with the, with the new optimizations in, in the dumping method and the transportation method and everything else, two tiles wide would be enough. Um, obviously it's not, and I'm willing to bet uh, the dump trucks can't get down this side. Yep. Yep. All right, so I have two choices. I can either make this three tiles wide or I can give them some other project to do. Um, I'm thinking... I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I want to find another tower. Uh, you. You're set for rock and slag, but at the end of the day, we're not going to dump any slag. All the slag is going to go into uh, other projects, i.e. being shipped out. Uh, I'm thinking. So you already have a ramp on you. problem is anything filled to height two i'm gonna have to dig back up but i'm thinking what we do is we have a nice one all the way along the edge so that way the whole dump trucks can actually get down to this entrance because they can't access this because they can't drive on this little narrow path here yeah this is what i thought and this has already been filled in to a certain height. So it's not a lot of material to fill that out, that extra tile. Uh, but what it does mean is... Where was that tower? It's that tower. Also means I'm going to grab this tower right beside it. I'm going to set you up to have just a tiny bit of overlap. I'm still short. Okay. All right. We'll work our way backward. Uh, we'll start here and go up. And then we'll grab the original one. And holy crap, it'll probably reach. Uh, we'll go from here. Yeah, it does reach. Cool. All right, so they have that as an alternative. Hopefully, they fill out the outside one first. If not, they can come down here or we'll work their way down here and then start filling from here up. Uh, because once these two are done, it means I can fill in the whole area with, well, up to level one with whatever crap I want and then definitely put the dirt on top. I always set up the dirt buckets. Uh, here's a dirt bucket um, at a lower priority than the rock bucket because I want the rock to actually go places. The dirt, I'm happy to store up for a while and then eventually mass dump the dirt to do the top layer or something. At the same time, I might just give them access to this again because I turned this off because, well, I wanted the other projects done. Uh, but with those two things done, I think they're going to be good on dumping. As for... Ooh, oh, boat's back. Uh, boat's back and it's unloaded entirely. Yes, and we have a whole bunch of sour water in the pipe still. Uh, we're prioritizing in from our own sour water first. And then you're just processing whatever's left over. Which means you guys should all be running. Yes. Which means for the first time in a long time, if not ever, the second lot of chemical plants are actually pulling their weight and doing something. Now, in hindsight, in hindsight, um, I set up two sour water strippers. 
to process an extra 72 sour water to do this particular contract. Um, because I know it's going to take a minimum six months. Uh, we should have done... Can I drag you? No, I can't drag you out of the way. Uh, 288 divided by six. Minimum six months means I could do 48. Uh, if... How much do they process? Uh, they process 36. So, if I process just 36 per month, if I do that contract once every eight months... But it means I could have one sour water stripper, just one sour water stripper, handle that contract. As we saw before with our slag, uh, oh, actually last year was, holy shit. Well, I did turn on past the base because I, whilst we're waiting on things to pump and dump, uh, large parts of the base are doing nothing. So at 1400, uh, yeah, we can probably do this contract every... Seven hundred. Yeah, we we can do this contract every six months. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need two sour water strippers. Um, what? Well, Two eighty-eight divided by six. I need one and a half. One and a half. One and a half sour water strippers. Um, which means you know for a couple of months these guys are idle and these guys are idle, which is less than less than. I holy crap! It's all gone. Uh, okay. In that case, uh, can we dig back a few more files? Uh, this is what happens when we put mega diggers on a project. As long as their dump buckets are very, very close, very, very close, they do a wonderful job. Uh, the further they have to travel, the less resources they seem to dig out in a hurry. Um, also, swarming them with many, many trucks never hurts. You know, we've got, what, 14 on here, and I have 14, 21, 25, 25 dump trucks for 14 diggy boys. Um, yeah, 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 they, 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 they do wonders. Um, all right, so we're bringing this out water. We're making some extra fertilizer, which is great. Also means all our slag we're now going to belt out. Um, I don't actually think this will ever get full again. In saying this, this is just our excess. Oh, actually, no, you also are hooked into nuclear, well, uranium ore processing. So you do get a little bit of extra output from that. And currently, this is set up for, well, anything that any tower needs to dump. Um, no, they're reasonably full. Okay. Now, we should be good. Um, I think long-term-wise, I do want to set the... Um, good question, Jenny. Well, you just bought... So, they just brought slag here. So any bucket that's told to keep empty is going to keep empty, can potentially import into this bucket up until this limit. Once it gets to this limit, they won't import anymore. And at the whole time, this bucket is trying to get rid of slag out that way. On that belt. Is that belt going to be fast enough? That's probably the big question. Uh, so we have 718. Uh, 718 divided by six months means I need to move 120 per month, which means my belt moving 60 is not going to be fast enough. Uh, so there's another 100 parts. And we're going to go into the next stage of belts, it seems. But that should get us fast enough. In the meantime, we're pumping out of these plenty fast enough. It's actually going to be loading. Mm. Yeah, the fluid storage is actually way faster than the loose storage. Um, again, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because I will be doing a tutorial video on loading and unloading ships, and the maths is a little bit weird. All right, uh, in the meantime, these guys are both up and running, which means we have Polly again. Polly should make its way back over here without a problem. Uh, we, we're actually out of electronics too because I turned off Polly. We do have a whole bunch of solar cells that we're not going to be using for right now. But with us now making the electronics too, it means we can now make the household appliances, which means all the housewives out there are getting brand new white goods right now. It also means that I'm, I'm pretty sure we're done with this episode. We've got everything done that I need to get done. Um, obviously, uh, next episode, I want to do something about more farming. Uh, you guys. I don't know what the story is. 
Who, what, huh? Oh, there's a hole there. And that's ruining your day. Okay. Fine. Just stretch out another tile. Sure. Uh, what are you guys doing? Not dumping material fast enough. That's my answer. All right. Um, next episode. Next episode. Uh, definitely want to do something about more farming. Um, obviously, I need to get all this filled in and then leveled off. At the same time, we also have the option of actually looking at gold smelting. Gold smelting, unfortunately, I don't have a good source of gold currently. The best we can do at the moment is dig out the bottom of the mountain and have all the gold fall into us. That's pretty much my best option for right now. Um, we don't need a lot of gold. The only advantage of getting some gold up and running right now means I could get gold plating on our statue of maintenance, which only costs 800 gold, although 800 gold requires an awful lot of gold ore. But it's something we might end up setting up. Um, either way, I'm going to call this here. Um, now that Mafisonic is running again, we have another, how much uni? 2.8. Yeah, I'm swimming in uni. I've got nothing to spend it on. If I stop feeding them outright, we, we'd, we'd still have uni spare, probably. Apart from the whole no feed thing. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to call it here. I will see you guys in the very next episode where food. I'm expecting food. Um, especially if these guys stick, keep carving out the mountain at the rate they are. Um, yeah, food is needs a whole rework. Also means we finally might get in the soybeans. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few things we need to do. All right, I'm going to call it here. As always, thank you guys for watching. Do hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. Right, bye.